Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to try and finish up Greed Mode with the Blue Baby, for the sake of completing the character entirely, and never having to try with the character again, presumably. That is a Black Heart, which is not too bad. I'm a little tempted to go for the Curse Room, just because... We're gonna get at least one more soul heart from that item anyway, or black heart rather. At least more health from the item, which is rather nice. Um, there's a magic mushroom right there, which is pretty great. There's also several keys that I can get with bombs. I think... Mm, I think I might actually skip it. Uh, skip the curse room rather, because I think... I'd rather have as much health as possible so I don't die at the start and then lose out on Magic Mushroom because that is a, that's a start right there. I would love to have that, but with these keys we can also quickly check out what is over here. Yum Heart, which is nothing. Uh, not great, <laughs> but we did get two keys, so it's not all bad, I suppose. Um, let's just do this. Five coins, very nice. I'm not sure if we're going to get enough coins before the boss wave, but we'll just have to see, I suppose. Uh, we can use these poops every single wave, so hopefully we can get some money out of that too. Or at least move some enemies away from time to time. It moved one of the troll bombs away when I used it next to one, so that is obviously rather nice. This enemy doesn't mind me too much, but then also just exploded. Unfortunately got hit by... Um, a champion there, so immediately lost that black heart, which is one of the things I was more or less terrified for, but with uh, <laughs> regards to not wanting to go to the curse room, so I'm happy that the choices I made so far. So far the waves are going fairly well, which I'm happy about. I'm a little tempted to press the button just for the sake of getting that magic mushroom as quickly as possible, but simultaneously uh, I, I don't think it's especially necessary. We're not getting very overwhelmed just yet, which is very nice. It is exactly what you want to have happen, which is not getting overwhelmed, so I'm very happy about that. And if we can just keep that up, that would be lovely. The waves have been fairly nice to us so far, so that is just wonderful. Couple of... Did I just deflect that tear into the other enemy? Did that actually happen, or did I just not see that correctly? Because if that works... I don't think it works. <laughs> I don't think it worked that time at least, so I'm gonna say that probably didn't happen. It was just something that I wanted to see rather than something that actually happened. But it would have been amazing if that worked and the poop suddenly became the best item in the game. Or at least one that would make for a great moments, which is good enough for me in terms of best item in the game. Either way, there is plenty of coins here. We can very much afford the magic mushroom immediately, so we're just gonna get that as soon as this wave is over. And then we can get started on the boss wave. There's also a couple more poops that we can destroy. And if we can get a poop trinket, that would obviously be fairly amazing. Because then we could get way more money out of our active item, which would be great. Not guaranteed, of course, that we're going to get that trinket. But it certainly would be nice. I'm definitely going to get that, though. It's an extra health container. It's 2.75 damage. It's not tier rate. I actually thought it was tier rate as well, but it's not. Which is a little unfortunate. I actually really wouldn't have minded tier right there, but fair enough. It is what it is. We'll just uh, make do with what we have as per usual. I'm just going to place a poop there in the hope for an extra consumable, but alas, didn't work out. The second boss is a horseman, which I'm not loving, but maybe these two can sort of figure each other out a bit. I could just focus on the poop for now at least, because they are fairly far away from each other, and my range did increase by... Uh, I'm getting that magic mushroom as well, so we're just going to make the most of that. And that is the first boss dead. So from this point on, we can just fully focus on the horseman. And not worry about life too much. All in all, just a really nice basement wave uh, for for greedier mode. Especially a burning basement. Like, that is actually kind of absurd how nice it was to us. But I will fully accept that. Anytime greed mode is somewhat kind to me, I will take that every single time. <laughs> Not going to be difficult about that at all. I think we will be going for angel rooms this run, but I will just have to clear this run first as per usual. 
Should probably kill these for it before I deal with the boss since we've seen how long it can take to kill this, this specific champion as well. Um, but we have taken care of those, so no worries there. And now it's just going to be a matter of shooting at the boss for a while. All in all, nothing too ridiculous. And I, for one, believe that we'll be okay here. We might take like one or two more hits of damage, but other than that, we should be fine. Look at the damage to the boss, though. It's actually pretty great, given that we got that magic mushroom there. So, fairly happy. 13 coins, nothing I really want to buy here. So, we are just going to get going here. But all in all, I have definitely had worse basement floors in greed mode. So, very pleased about how that went. That, that is nothing... To scoff at, as they say. Now let's see if the caves are equally nice to us. No curses just yet, so that's nice. Cracked orb doesn't really... It might reveal the secret room, I guess. That's kind of nice, and that's tier 8. Three red hearts. The worst possible option. Unfortunate, but fair enough. We did get two more coins, so we could buy something if we wanted to. Uh, I think I will instead just blow up this similar looking shop from the previous floor. Empress card, not bad. Definitely not nothing. Uh, could go get the black hole, but I think I'm just going to reroll some of these things. Alright, so the soul heart's there, so that's obviously pretty good. We could go for the uh, <laughs> brown nugget, which spawns fly turds and they stay in the room until you leave the room so you can't spend like 10 minutes just creating blue flies because it recharges automatically after using it so that's a strat you can do it's pretty horrendous in terms of having fun but it is effective because those flies if you just have a hundred of them then they just destroy everything so it it is actually a fairly effective item if you have the patience for it which i do not <laughs> I have tried at least once, and it, it's interesting for sure, but doing it every single floor is a nightmare, especially if you if you have to re-enter the room every the shop every now and then to get some more health or something like that. It's it's just a nightmare, but it, it has its moments for sure. If you're definitely struggling with the mode or if you're the lost, it's actually not bad as the lost just because you can get so much offense. It's just that it doesn't really work as well when you're fighting Ultra Greed, but other than that, it's it's a good it's a good one. It's a good one for sure. Occasionally trying to use that poop item in a time where it doesn't distract me and gets me killed in some way. And it's working out so far. We are destroying these waves before then the next one can even start automatically, so that's nice. If we can just keep doing that, that would be lovely. Somehow avoiding these champions as well, which is surprising because some of them were not being very kind. <laughs> but it worked out. I think that was one of those weaker champions, or at least one of the ones that dies quicker, because uh, one of them died very quickly and none of the others did. And look at that, that's already the last wave done and we really didn't even struggle. <laughs> I do not mind this. Magic Mushroom start is such a treat, it's so nice to not have to worry about stuff so much. Once again, a little tempted to go for the button this time around just because uh, this boss does take a second before you can even start fighting it really. Like, it, we're at the three second mark and right now we can finally start dealing damage to the boss. I'm not sure who the other boss is. Oh, that's not good. That is not a great time. Hoping that the brimstone attack comes in in a second here. That's not brimstone. We did open up the doors and we found a secret room. I guess that's, that is actually kind of nice, I suppose. This is uh, becoming a mess. Yeah, there you go. I was kind of hoping you'd hit the, the other boss a little bit more there, but fair enough, I suppose. I need to get this boss away from here, yeah, because that is a problem. It's a good thing we bought all that health earlier because it doesn't matter too much because of it, but still, it's not great. I guess we could have just left. I don't know what would have happened. I think we just have to redo the last two waves because we didn't actually clear them. With the cracked door, the door just opens. <laughs> but I think if you try to leave, then uh, you're not in for a good time, so it's not really worth it, I'd say. Two of these, still not like a huge deal, but not amazing either. The Empress card actually wouldn't have been a terrible idea, but I kind of want to keep it for the Ultra Greed fight. Just for the sake of having a little bit of extra damage for that fight, I think it's worthwhile. Now, we don't have a bomb right now, so we cannot actually go into the secret room if we so desired, which is unfortunate. But we can focus on destroying the enemies that are now getting rapidly spawned by the one of the two bosses at least. Not loving that either. <laughs> it's 
bosses are being rude. They're spawning so much. I think I am been focusing on the right one the entire time, but I'm hoping I'm not wrong in that. At least they're also destroying the enemies that are spawning, so that's nice. Okay, one of them's dead. That's good. We are about to get an angel room as well, so if we could just get a sacred heart, then we immediately have enough damage for the rest of the run. That would just be lovely. We wouldn't have to worry about stuff anymore. That would be nice. But we'll see what we get here from the angel room. Hopefully it's at least something. Uh, one more worm, friend. No concerns. Well, it's technically something. It's just not what you'd call great. Uh, if we get a shield or something, it becomes a little bit better, but I'm just... God, I do... this is possibly my least favorite Octavite. <laughs> It's just so non-exciting. I wish it just was a little bit more, you know, and, and instead it is not. It is not a lot, in fact. At least we got a pill out of it at the end of the day, but that's really... At least there were some soul hearts in there. I guess that's really more the thing. Something's wrong. But overall, not overexcited. Um, Sack of Sacks could be good, but not sure if it's worth the money, really. It would prob- I mean, assuming it works, it would probably give a decent amount of consumables at least, but... Let's just take one more soul heart and call it a day. Let's just leave. Perhaps the next floor will have a couple items that will help us out at least a little bit. We have gotten a present from Mother and I assume it was wonderful. That's some more defense, that's some more tier 8. I mean... It's not bad. It's not a bad build. It's certainly effective enough to win, I'd say. Uh, that is another damage up as well, which is not bad. It's also a speed up, which I don't mind. This is a boss item pool, which I'm not super excited for, but I don't mind actually just using this floor to get even more health. We've gotten a lot of tier 8. We've gotten a little bit of extra damage, which is obviously pretty great. I cannot hit this enemy, apparently, so that is might be a problem. But if we just stay on this side of the room, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Not sure why you're in this way, but I will take care of that. I should be using the poop more, but I was neglectful in that regard. But I mean, the waves are getting cleared. It's not like the biggest problem. Well, this is a bit of an issue. Uh, I kind of hope I can take care of these jumping bastards. I think we did. I think they're all dead. It's a little difficult to tell sometimes because of, of the jumping, but I think they are indeed all dead. Along with most other enemies, just shooting kind of randomly has <laughs> worked out more than I'd anticipated. But, uh, yeah, it's working. We are nearing the final wave here, so... Yeah, not really getting overwhelmed at all. It's nice. It's just a really nice build with, once again, that magic mushroom. Need to stop taking that much damage, though. But I did say I was going to buy some health here, so might as well stick to that strategy. The jumping champion is no longer jumping, but he is in my way. Which I'm not loving. Didn't mean to take a full heart of damage there, but I really got trapped in an interesting method. There's a lot of creep on this floor right now, and I uh, don't care for it. Makes for an interesting challenge, but we survived. Who's that? Oh, God. Did not anticipate that one to still be alive, but apparently it was. Um, I'm actually just gonna hang out here for a minute and wait for the other boss, I think, because I don't mind having one segment of egg envy just flying around. I mind it a little bit more when there's a hundred of them while fighting the other one. So let's just do this instead. Two of the bastards, not great, but at least they're on... I was gonna say, at least they're not near envy, <laughs> as they immediately teleport closer to envy. Ah, oh, well. It's working out. We, how many times have we opened these doors by taking damage now? Maybe I should just be taking damage to open up secret rooms, but... I don't know how viable it actually even is in all the rooms. I mean, I assume it's in some rooms you just cannot take damage because there's nothing to actually deal damage to you, but sometimes there's flames, I think. And to open a secret room for half a heart could be worthwhile, I guess. Might be, at least. We have hit Envy a little bit during the fight, but clearly not a lot, given how many hits I still had to do there, but... Overall, not too bad. It's... yeah. Took a lot of damage on this floor. I don't care for that too much. Well, we have 25 coins. I could use it to buy five soul hearts. I could use it to buy two soul hearts and then see what's in the next floor. Um, but we'll see. Let's first check if we get another angel room or devil deal. 
Perhaps that will change my mind on whatever we wish to get. I should probably focus on this one first because this one is spawning enemies, which I just do not care for. Especially this particular flavor of spider is just not great to have around all the time. Uh, trying to focus on one enemy while shooting another is an interesting idea, and it kind of worked out. I think I did some weird dodges every now and then. It's very subconscious for the most part. <laughs> but it's working out. You are not going to drop us so hard. I am aware of that now. Another angel room. This time one that's not terrible. Uh, I don't take the flight, actually. Uh, no longer have to worry about creep is reason enough to take the flight, but also occasionally getting a free item, like a hanged man. <laughs> nice, very cool. And also a little bit cheaper to go into the uh, these rooms here. Hematemesis. Yep, that's a bad one. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a couple soul hearts here and then uh, just be on my way, I think. Ah, the health down horse pill. Of course it was, but still. At least it's nice to know that it is in our pill pool. If we find another health down, we could technically take that instead of the Empress card. Uh, which could be good, because once you reach one heart or half a heart, you'd be able to eat it for uh, a health up instead, which is obviously not bad. This I might as well just take immediately, I think. What's over here? A black heart. And the secret room's there. <laughs> if we had to teleport out of that room, I'd consider it. And also the... God. kind of wish I had five coins. I'm going to have to check out the secret room, huh? Well. Uh, it's unfortunate, because this would be pretty good. If I had the poop trinket, and I might go back for that actually, but for now let's just do this uh, this floor for a minute. Going to press the button will still damage me, I do believe, so I'm just gonna rely on not doing that for now. Just gonna chill over here. Surprise, you didn't die, but fair enough. I guess I missed a couple hits there. Oop. The brimstone attack is more helpful than harmful, I would say, as you can see. So. Let's just keep that one alive. Not sure why I opted for the champion to keep alive of all things, but it is what it is. It's not always my choice. <laughs> uh, there we go. Do need to watch out for the tears being shot by other enemies, but fair enough. I did not really anticipate getting hit there of all things, but fair enough. Yeah, these brimstones is destroying these enemies very well. Do not mind that. Just gonna have these enemies shoot sideways and up and down all over the place, and then I don't have to worry about them anymore. Back. There we go. Kill the champion. Should have placed a lot more poops all over the place, really. But I was not thinking about that. There's a lot of enemies stuck in that corner over there. <laughs> oh boy. There is a lot of things trying to hit me at the same time, and I do not appreciate it. But it's kind of working out. I did not realize there was still a brimstone friend alive, but there was. Ultimately died. I think if I just leave these alive, then eventually the run just uh, continues, right? Like, especially the one in the corner there. I don't think I have to kill that one. Because he is, like, blocked off from me. Although I do have flight, and maybe... I think it won't actually open the doors after a while if you have flight, because you can't technically reach him. But that's just one of those things. Also, this opened because uh, of Cracked Orb, so that's actually kind of nice. It saves me five coins on, uh, on a key, so... Might actually end up doing that on the next floor as well. I'm not gonna get the poop trinket, am I? That doesn't seem like it's worthwhile at all. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's actually really good. The Mysterious Liquid is kind of nice because it will actually deal decent damage to these bosses in particular as well. Including the one that's just hanging out in the corner over there, but... Yeah, that's not bad. It's a little bit of extra damage at least. Not immediately a damage stat, which is unfortunate, but... That's fine. Monster 2 there as well, who does have a tendency to be on the floor, so that at least will also take damage from the Mysterious Liquid, which is nice. I'm not even paying attention to the Gurglings anymore, because Monster 2 just arrived and ruined my day. <laughs> the Gurglings will probably die on their own somehow in a second, so yeah, there you go. 
That's usually how it goes when Monster 2 gets involved. You just accidentally kill everything else in the room with stray bullets, and then before you know it, you win. So it's actually all a very good strategy. Very cool, very nice. We could leave. Uh, definitely getting the pajamas first, but let's also just check out the Devil Deal Ranger room, whichever one of the two appears today. Just gonna take these care, care of these one at a time, I think. I don't think I want to have two quick masks available during this fight. Please go down. Didn't expect them to stop at the hole? That's surprising. Does it? Has he always done that? <laughs> I've genuinely never noticed that he would stop at a hole, but yeah, fair enough. I also think the mysterious liquid is actually hitting this boss from the look of things, which is nice. I do need to be careful not to accidentally leave through the door during this fight, or I will just have to restart it, probably, which wouldn't be ideal. And this heart will more or less die on its own. Mysterious liquid has become... It feels so much better. It used to be that it would only hit enemies that are on the floor, but these appear to be flying. Simultaneously, it gets stuck on, on holes, so maybe this boss isn't actually flying at all. On a technical level. We keep getting angel rooms. This is interesting. Uh, because obviously we're taking that. Uh, this is going to be a little fiddly, but not impossible. Weird diagonal movement. We do not have keys or bombs, so we can't actually do anything else there, but you know. It's something. Uh. <laughs> Fine. I mean, the, the pajamas are there. They're going to heal us up anyway, so I might as well. If we get five coins from any poop that we spawn, so far we're at one. It's, it's already worthwhile, so it, it doesn't really matter that much, but... It's just a little tedious. <laughs> but with the Book of Revelations, or whatever it's called, the Book of um, Good Times, it, uh, getting the wisps from the poop is obviously going to be pretty good, assuming that those exist. I'm not really sure how that works. Don't really care for that too much. Uh, blanket is not terrible, but I'm not really super excited by it. Um, I'm going to reroll some of these. I actually wouldn't mind that to get closer to spun, so let's just uh, go with that. Could save my key right now. Also, just going to check this out because I do have the health for it. Cursed Eye. Some regular spiders, some irregular spiders. Alright. Figured as much. Uh, Soul of Isaac or Strength. God, those are both so good as well. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to take this, but I will have to go back there again later. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, Soul of Isaac is definitely going to get some use in a second. Let's just... Yeah, we do get multiple flames from these poops, so that's nice. We did manage to open up the door just about immediately there, so that's nice. I do hope we can manage to keep some of these flames alive, but I mean... It's not exactly guaranteed at the end of the day. Hopefully we can get some... Ex okay, we got five coins, so the poop trinket was worthwhile. There is a mimic there. What I think has been slightly ruining my day so far, which is great. I have opened every door a million times at this day. Oh my god, I've taken so much damage on this floor. Oh my god, it's actually going really bad. <laughs> There's actually quite a lot of danger in this particular place right now. I did not anticipate this to go this poorly. But fair enough. We'll just have to make the best of it. We have cleared the last, or we have started the last wave now at least, but oof. It was a lot of damage. Hoping that there's some soul hearts for sale because I need some health back, jeez. Obviously this situation where there's a hundred sloths in the middle of the room isn't helping out much. Uh, two of diamonds, I would say, is pretty damn great. I don't know how that keeps appearing in greed mode, but again, if the game wants to make greed mode a little easier on me, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> uh, amazing. That one's on me. Uh, can I lure you into the flames in the corner there? Almost certainly, right? If I just stand over here? Yeah. Alright, so that was almost all of my health gone in uh, eight easy waves, so that's not great. Uh, that's some marbles. Mm, I'm gonna reroll a little. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I can't say no to that one. That one's really good. Uh, how does this work with this character? Ah. 
Okay, so that's interesting, because that is going to give us way more tier 8. And might as well just get this then, because it's going to give us another bone heart again. I cannot take these, unfortunately, but still, they do exist. Also, I completely forgot about the two of diamonds somehow, so I definitely should have used that before. Whoops. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Making silly mistakes here, but fair enough. Ay. Okay. That was still one alive. I really didn't anticipate them surviving more than one hit from Polyphemus Magic Mushroom, but apparently uh, they found a way. Which is not great. Uh, that is the adversary. I did that very well. <laughs> uh, it runs falling apart, but don't look at it. Don't, please look away. Uh, if there is a bomb for sale here, I'd actually be interested. There's not. Oh. I'd really like a bomb, but I kind of want to have that too. That's a battery pack. It's almost worthwhile, you know, just because you can get some good stuff for it. Well, fair enough. Uh, yeah, he's dying fairly quickly. Is that two of them? Yes, it is. <laughs> just getting that tear rate up with the destroying the bone heart item. So it's it's all planned. This is actually going exactly how I had anticipated it, you see. Another one. Seven seals, that's unusual. Is that always in the angel room? Not sure. But yeah, I wanted to have a bomb so I could just uh, blow up this angel statue and then reroll this that way. I'm gonna take that. I think that could be interesting. Alright, so there's a strength card and an empress card awaiting me, but I think I will just stick with the two of diamonds and just use that on the next floor instead because I think that's gonna be amazing. Let's just charge up our flamethrower there. I would love to have a little bit more health. I don't think I really need anything else, but I didn't anticipate the amount of damage I've been taking. So I didn't anticipate the amount of times I, I say the word anticipate today, but... Oh, here we are. So, it is what it is. That's a black heart. And a heart drop. There is a button there, which I'm excited by, because they are always good in greed mode. Today is no exception. And uh, I'm very happy about this, but, I mean, you know, it's good to fight four monstros from time to time. I bought that key because I genuinely, for a second, thought, yeah, free key that's right there. My, my brain didn't register <laughs> the, the cost. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. Don't worry about it. We're just going to start flamethrowing, I think. Because I think that's going to be a fairly effective way to deal with my problems the most part at least, especially if they just keep spawning enemies that die very quickly to the flamethrower. I mean, this is just a lot of fun, isn't it? Plus it gets rid of tears, so that's also quite nice. There we go. Just burn everything. Slowly but surely running out of flames, but that's fine. I'm not using the strategies to use optimal, make optimal uses, usage of the amount of flames that you have. I'm just holding the button. <laughs> And quite frankly, I'd say it's fairly effective even then. I would argue that this is working out fairly well. We have a whole bunch of wisps available right now. And I have just about run out of flames here, so let's just fight some enemies normally. Oh, another one? Really? The third one was very slow. I'm actually kind of surprised that one even existed. But fair enough, I suppose. Angels, more like flame jewels. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's been a long day, okay? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Alright, well, we're nearly done here at least, so that's good. Bunch more flames from that. Let's just see. Um, Yeah, let's just see if we can get a little more. Angel room or devil deal. I love that item so much. It's actually so fun. Even when you're just holding the button without even thinking about it, it's still just so much fun to destroy enemies like that. Just angel rooms, really. We could finally get 100% chance of angel rooms. Uh, alternatively, holy water, which I do really like during that boss fight. Um, yeah, just gonna go with that, I think. Not too terrible. Um, I think what I can do here is give you a heart, and then I can just go in here. For half a red heart. Very cool. Okay. 
Um, I have 44 coins. I don't really need any more items. That's eight soul hearts. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that works. I'm going to give myself some tier eight by just standing over here. Look at those tiers going up. Three tiers per second with Polyphemus. That seems perfectly fine and reasonable. Not really going to have many coins left to put in the donation machine in the end, but... This is about as safe as I can reasonably make it, I think. So all in all, I'm not too disappointed. I would argue that this is likely to be a run where the blue baby comes out victorious, and I can appreciate that. That is some greeds. God, this tier 8 is absurd for the amount of damage that we're actually outputting as well. <laughs> Magic Mushroom Polyphemus is such a combo. 30 damage per shot, 3 tiers per second. It's uh, pretty good. It's pretty good, I would say. That was a weird dodge, but it sort of worked. I think I destroyed a Wisp with it, but that's fine. Ah. Holy Water is at least helping me out by keeping this boss in place. I still... Occasionally I'm just sort of flabbergasted how good Holy Water has become over time because it... Every now and then I think back to Afterbirth um, Holy Water and it's it's just a whole different item. So much so that it was just not good. <laughs> it was just not a good item. And now it is and that is just... You know, good for good for Holy Water. That's all I'm saying. This doesn't really do that much. Eh, let's just stick with this. I think this is fine. I like the extra ringing when he gets stunned during the spawning of coins because it's just a fun sound, isn't it? Just a constant ringle ding ding while we're trying to destroy this boss here. A couple of greed heads. No, just one. One greed head still remained. Really just mostly hoping not to get those attacks where he just throws coins that just spin around and try to kill you because quite frankly I think that's the one that's been hitting me the most so far. Everything else just sort of dies to my tears instantly which is uh, is nice. I did say I did maybe jinx it with my bold statement of yes we have won this run I think maybe and I shouldn't be making such claims during the ultra greed fight because that's usually where my brain instantly turns off and then I die so let's play this a little bit safer again. Just try to stay far, far away from the boss, occasionally using our flamethrower to spawn some more wisps. Occasionally destroying some of those coins that he's shooting at us as well. I'm guessing that works, but they're a little awkward to hit, I feel. And something is making blue flames appear. I'm not sure if that's one of the wisps or all of them. Possibly it's all of them, actually. But honestly, that's amazing. <laughs> that, that's a really nice effect for um, wisps to have because that does make them significantly more powerful, I would say. We could probably get a little bit more money if we destroy those shopkeepers at the top because we might be able to do that, but also you could just run into them. Is that 50? Yeah, that's Steam Sale. <laughs> uh, clearly the strat is to um, keep that soul of Isaac until this fight, get Steam Sale from a shopkeeper and then turn that into um, the pajamas, because then I think you're pretty safe. Unfortunately, we were not able to do that this run. But ultimately, I'm still feeling slightly confident. I'm surprised that explosion didn't hit me, but yeah, again, I'll take that. I'm never going to say no to no damage. I would say yes to no damage, please. I think that... Oh, all right. <laughs> Five coins suddenly appeared next to me. That's exciting. And then he started jumping around like a meanie, but it is still working out fairly well. I think my wisp just got destroyed by an explosion, and the explosion was next to me, and I didn't get hit by it, which is interesting. <laughs> I can probably create some more wisps if I just use the flamethrower a bit more, but it's a little fiddly against this particular boss. I mean, obviously I could use it against more or less any phase where he's just standing still a lot, but it's still a little spooky. Crack dice in the basement, hive baby in the basement, meconium in the basement, probably one of those is for doing everything as the blue baby, so good stuff all around. Put a couple of coins into the donation machine, get that 50-50, whatever it's called. No animation for jumping into chest because we were picking up an item. And that is the blue baby completed. Look at that. That's four characters in a row who've done everything. 
And if we go over here, then there's some more. So all in all, making decent progress. All in all, looking pretty good. We are actually getting pretty close with Eve as well, so soon we'll have five characters who've done everything, assuming that I can do mother and greedier mode with this character as well. And then we get to this awkwardness, but we're, yeah, we're getting pretty far with the non-tainted characters and that's looking pretty good. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do a different run with a different character and I hope to see you all there. Bye bye.